Hey guys, it's Techran here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to record two separate sources in OBS. That way you have two separate file formats for your video. So let's say for example here, you're someone who wants to have your one file format with your camera, and then you have another file for just your gameplay. So that way you can have a lot more flexibility with editing in post, or maybe you just wanna have another version of it where you have your streaming and you have with overlays and without overlays, you can set it up like that. So personally for me, what I'm using this for is my anime reaction channel, because I like to be record a high quality 1080 recording with just the anime. And then another version of the recording were just my face cam. So I have a lot more flexibility in post to edit however I want. And I want to show you guys how to set up something like that here today. So the first thing you have to do is download the Atom Vertical plugin. I will have a link to down below, plus the video on how to set it on up for me. I have it right here on this page. All I'm gonna do is click download and install this onto my computer so we can access it in OBS. Now, once you download the Atom Vertical plugin, you'll now have two canvases. You have one canvas for your normal OBS settings, another one over here for your vertical canvas if you wanna like multi-stream with it and stream to YouTube Shorts or to TikTok. However, that's not the use case from where we're gonna actually use it for. We're gonna switch the actual canvas by going into the settings of it, and then you'll see general, and we can switch it from 1080p x1920, and when we reverse that to 1920x1080, which is horizontal instead of vertical. And then with that, we have now another canvas to record a video from. So I can record in here, my camera, and then for the vertical canvas, you can set this up to be whatever you want. Now you can customize the recording settings. However, I would just recommend leaving them as is. So you can see right here, I'm just using my main OBS settings, but you can actually uncheck this, choose your encoder. For me, I'm gonna choose NVENC and I get to customize this to have a higher actual recording format if I really want to, depending on what I wanna do with this. I'm not really too worried about this for the time being, but I would recommend though, if you do plan to use this to actually capture your gameplay and stuff, make sure to have your gameplay audio on the right track. So for example here, I'm gonna record my gameplay or movies and stuff like that on track two for audio. And then what I can do is just apply that as so. And what I wanna do is go into the audio track on the OBS, click on the three dots, go to advanced audio properties, make sure they add my actual gameplay or device capture on track two. So anything on track two, I just uncheck. And just for example here, this desktop audio, let's just say that's our game audio. We would make sure to check that as so, but you would set this up for yourself for the time being. And all I have to do is add my device. So I can say, go to my normal sources for OBS. I can just add my camera. So I'm gonna add my webcam I have here. So you can see that, that's awesome. It's not really the right resolution, but you get the general gist, I can fit that on in here. And then if I was to go into the vertical source, I could add a display capture or I can add a capture card for me. I'm just gonna add a display capture and I'm capturing into my display. And now I can record two different angles that I want to, that way I have a lot more flexibility in post. But that's how I, of course, record two video sources in OBS Studio. If you guys did find this video helpful, then you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to some future tech content. And of course, I'll see you for another one. Tech Grant, out.